Brianna, 26. My eyes are, are up here, baby. Are you looking at the tattoos? No, I, I'm, I'm looking at the hair on your arms. You know, women I deal with, they don't have hair on their arms. Don't do too much. Oh, oh he's spicy. Yeah. So um, I was like, all right, get out, whatever. He leaves. Um, he still tried to contact me. I was like, no, get out. I grabbed my car. I went to my mom's house because I didn't want him to try to come back and to try to convince me. And um, that's what brings to like my mind all the time. Like you guys tell people in abusive relationships all the time, like you need to leave, you need to leave, thinking that it's easy for these women to leave, and it's not. Like yeah, they've they've gotten hurt or whatever, but these women are completely head over heels in love with these men, so it's not easy to leave. Like I know we Donkey Kong Princella, but she still is very intelligent. She was making some good points, and she mentioned biologically. When you have sex with a man, with a male, his sperm or whatever, his fluid, his, his seminal fluid, they, it goes into your body and it, it does something to the woman's brain I where it makes it. them weak for the man. So how she said, yes, a lot of people think, say leave the man, it's easy, but they be head over heels in love. Maybe it's just that his fluid, because you've had sex with him, but you just shouldn't give your body to anybody. You know what I'm saying? Cause you open yourself up to him. What if that is true biologically or scientifically? His um his fluids gets into your brain and it makes you weak for him biologically, where it's hard to say no to him. What's, What's up, y'all? My name is Nick Rochelle. And I am Carla Rochelle, and we are a married couple. On this channel, we share our genuine reactions to some of the hottest content on YouTube. So if that sounds like something you're interested in, make sure you click that subscribe button. And if you want to join the membership to our channel, become one of our little freaks, hit the join button for exclusive perks. Without further ado, shout out to the members of our channel. All right, and members, we're gonna have to figure out when we are going to meet up. It was supposed to be today, but we have been just having a lot going on. Yeah. So just stay tuned for the uh, community tab so we can figure out what we're gonna do. Also, we need to announce that we have a trip planned to Bali, and that is going to be in May of 2025. It's a group trip, um, and if you're interested in traveling with us and hanging with us outside of YouTube, then click the link in our description or click the link in the comment section so you can view the itinerary. You can sign up. You can go hang out with us in Bali in Ind Indonesia, and uh, we can have a good time. Yeah. All right, babe, who are we reacting to today? <laughs> All right, y'all, today we're reacting to Art Let Amuli, Pop the Balloon or Find Love. Yes, we had, I'm not going to say her name because I don't never know if you all want to remain anon anonymous. Sorry, guys, I've been <laughs> saving a little bit. <laughs> um, she reached out and she asked if we could just go to timestamp one hour and eight minutes and react to this video. Um, I haven't seen it yet. I've seen clips of this guy. I know they call him like a turtle or something like that. So we're going to jump to it. We're going to uh, watch this portion of the video. And then also his girlfriend has exposed him. So we're going to watch that part as well. So let's go ahead and get into it, guys. Let's All right. Thanks for saving okay, the time. Okay, let's go ahead and bring out our next single guy. This is so awkward. It is. Hello. Kind of Welcome. <laughs> ah, so I'll she's have you this. All right. If we can have your name. Uh, my name is Aaron. Oh, Aaron, nice. how old are you? Yeah, I'm 29. 29. Okay. Yes. And what do you do? Uh, I'm a licensed plumber. Oh, okay. very cool. Yes. And now, what do you look for in a woman? Um, I look like I look for a woman that's not promiscuous, and um, has a career going for herself. I just want to say this: Don't sleep on the blue collar jobs. You know what I'm saying? People, a lot of people go to college, they get these degrees, and they have a lot of debt, but they be working at the same jobs. I remember I was at a call center seeing these people with all these degrees, all these degrees, and they just working at the same job. Matter of fact, I was in a high level of them sometimes. Same level. But, you know, don't sleep on these blue collar jobs because some of these mugs be making some money. Well, honey, I just know, girl, she popped that balloon as soon as he stepped out, and I can see how at first glance somebody would be like, mm -hmm. Yeah, because he look a little small, so I'd be thinking he might have a little man syndrome. Anything. Well, not only that, he kind of look kind of corny. He do. So. He do. He got his chest out. Like, that's kind of corny to me. <laughs> so, yeah, let's see. 
Okay. Yes, ma'am. And now, mm-hmm. what are some of your deal breakers? Mm-hmm. Uh, deal breaker, being promiscuous, <laughs> not cleanly, um, don't ah. have a career, nothing really going for yourself. Okay. All right. So we did get a pop balloon. Let's okay. go ahead and go on over there and see what's going on. Yes. And he walked All funny. right. If we can have your name and age and why you popped your balloon. Hi, my name is Karma. I'm 24. Okay. Oh, sorry. I'm supposed to say the pop in the balloon proper. <laughs> Got you. Um, for me, it just did not work. I didn't feel like I had chemistry or I wasn't fully attracted to you. And I feel like that counts yeah. if we were going to be going through a dating show, you know? Yes. The feeling is definitely mutual. So uh, that's okay. Yeah. Thank you. You did me a favor. You know, absolutely. Yeah. I'm glad you have a great Thank day. Thank you, Queen. You too. Okay. Well, <laughs> let's go ahead and All right. <laughs> up over here. If we can have your name and age and why you ended up popping your balloon. Hi, my name is Jara. I'm 22. Okay. And why did we end up popping our balloon? Um, the comment you made. Uh, yeah. Didn't really, I like a more humble person, not someone that responds so defensive-ish. Yeah, that's really it. Hey, uh, I, I didn't really necessarily like that's how you responded. Hey, I could just, yeah. all I can do is be honest, I you mean, know? Yeah, be honest, I be authentic self. Hey, to... you see how big his arms Girl, are? Girl, I was just finna say, he look like somebody yeah. that blew some air in him. Well, maybe, because look, I mean, he obviously not super short, but I guess for a guy he's short, because even with her big platform shoes, she's not taller than him. But I'm thinking when you a little guy, you lift weights to kind of make up for that. Yeah, he lift weights kinda when he came that out. on here. Cause he look blue up. <laughs> like somebody. <laughs> like somebody. <laughs> <laughs> it's okay. To, to, to find a match. Sure. That one match. And that's sure, all I mean, queen. I 100% understand. Yes, yeah. ma'am. Sure. Okay. And I was, um, she someone that's your type? Um, she all right. You know, you're mm-hmm. not really my type. I don't mean to be disrespectful. No, disrespectful. You know, but if I see you in public, I wouldn't reach out totally to Totally fine. Yes, ma'am. Ooh. Thank you. All right. And we did get a pop balloon over here. Your name and age and why you ended up popping your balloon. I'm Lex and I'm 23. And I popped my balloon because I feel like you could be a tad bit disrespectful. Like, I can see you how you, like, respond. I don't know, arrogant a little bit. Yes. Yeah, just that. Well, voice in my opinion is not arrogant. You know, she asked me if she would be a good fit for me. If I like what I see, you know, uh, it's contrary to the truth. So of course. that's all I can do is just state what I see. I don't, that's not. I think it's just uh, they're not liking the way that he's handling rejection, I guess. That's what it is. And the way that he's like uh, being um, defensive. Just because they pop their balloon, they have their right to be like, look, you're not my type. But he's yeah. autom- it's almost like the dude who hit that girl with a, upside her head with a skateboard. Because she uh, rejected him. He asked her, like, out on a date or some shit like that. I think it was in New York. Oh. And when it happened, he hit upside her head with a skateboard. It's like, look, she has her right to be like, you're not my type. Right. Sir. And he don't necessarily have to say anything back, but it's like his response. He's like being very sassy back. or whatever. Yeah, if it's that's, a get That's back. what the new generation call it. Yes. A good look for me. That's all, Queen. But uh, thank you. You did me a favor as well. Yeah. And he called also, her queen. Um, what I have to say is, it's not what you say. This is what I mean by what I said. It's not what you say. It's how you say it. Yes. You could have rephrased a lot of the things that you have been saying to me as well as the other girls differently. But that's all I have to say. But one thing about me is I'm not going to change who I am. Of course. To fit somebody else's liking. You know, I'm just going to tell it how it is. He needs him not a white it, girl. That's not it. You know, cool. the no, one. no, 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 no. <laughs> he needs him a man. What? Huh? He's he's just like queen. Like he's just sassy. Like he needs him a man. Honey, he like... needs him a man that they can just be hard together, and it's just not a lot going on. He could be the softest thing in a relationship. I don't know. He just give me that he likes a different type of woman. What, racially maybe, ambiguous? Like Lovey T always say, love racially yeah, ambiguous. And, and maybe that's why he's kind of coming off. Is he trying like to act that. like these girls are not on his level because they're but black? Them. I don't know. That's why I was like, he seemed like he need him a white girl. Well, look, go on and get you a white girl then. Go on and get you one. <laughs> Shit. <laughs> They be getting on my nerves, some of them, them guys. And that is it. I'm going to let it be known. Okay. You know, for surely, yes. Respect. Uh, yeah. Mm-hmm. All right. Your name and spicy. age and why you ended up popping your balloon. 
Brianna, 26. My eyes are, are up here, baby. Are you looking at the tattoos? No, I, I'm, I'm looking at the hair on your arms. <gasps> you know, women I deal with, they don't have hair on their arms. Don't do too much. Oh, Ooh. he's spicy. Yeah. That's what I'm saying. He need a man. Like, this nigga is, he keeping up. Was he raised by a single mama? Is this what they be saying when they be saying the guys who be raised by single mom, mamas? So I almost said mammy, but mamas, and they be like real just as sassy as black women, as women because they can keep up with them. Yeah, but usually sometimes guys, usually they have a little bit more respect. They um, do the ones who really love their mamas. Yeah, he this probably dude was sassy. a doctor or something. <laughs> Let me stop. Man, <laughs> I wouldn't even notice her on her arms. He just, he, he already, even look hairy. The thing is, he already looking for a comeback. Yes. When, when they, when they, when I'd be scared to pop my balloon. I'd be like, shit, I is would, this the I'll time? Because my mouth tail. ain't smart as his. He's smarter than me. Oh, like, yeah. his mouth is sassier than mine. Yeah. I'd be like, shit. <laughs> what you trying to hold it? Look, you gonna try to hold the top of your balloon and pop on the air seat. <laughs> Hey, I'm just being honest, don't do queen. Too much. You know, I, I don't like that. That's okay. all I was looking at. You trying to say if I'm looking at particular body. Look at the girl in the blue dress. She want to pop up a little so bad. She's so scared. She's like, damn, what? I'm going to pop this balloon. Uh, <laughs> hey, just speak your mind. Like you just wasn't like, like, See, your mouth, your mouth sassy as he is. That's my not eyes. what it is. That's no, I was, I was looking at the hair on your Anyways, arms, Anyways, she asked me the question. Yes. Um... Yeah, I'm in heels and you ain't tall enough. Okay. Don't do too much. Well, though. you're not qualified, baby. All right, that's so that's good. all good. Oh, let's move on. Let's move on. He's offended. Okay. So <laughs> oh, blue dress. You still have three unpop, but she looking like you gonna pop. Okay. <laughs> okay. All right. You're if we can have the your name and age like and why you ended up popping. My name is Jacqueline. I'm 25. I popped because I have hair on my arms. <laughs> <laughs> hey. Just cause you see, she had to attack herself to avoid being attacked by the turtle dude. Let's see what he gonna say. You got hair on your arms. That's okay though, Queen. You look phenomenal though. <laughs> Thank you. You know oh, she ain't fit to my liking. She ain't even fit to. My... Hey, excuse me, Queen. I'm, I'm talking to this woman right here. Yeah, but you. Uh, well, I could look anyway. I could look anyway. I could look anyway. I want to. You know. But yeah, can y'all give her her balloon back though? She don't want it. Yeah, do you want your balloon back, Queen? Uh, we're not talking to you, sweetheart. Okay. You, oh, you already been, I already let you know. I'm not interested in. You got more hair on your arms than me, baby. But uh, anyways. Okay, so he's saying get your balloon back, but how are you feeling, honey? Um, I'm not gonna get my balloon back. Okay. okay. Aww. No problem. So, oh, so we do you still have like. uh, two balloons? Yes. Do we still have two balloons? No. <laughs> Let's go over here. I saw you hesitate. That's why I had to ask. So if we can have your name and age and why you ended up popping. My name is Kayla. I'm 23. Um, originally, I was not going to pop my balloon because I know a lot of them popped it because he was being, I guess, arrogant. Mm -hmm. But to me, I like my man that's not going to sit in every girl's face and, you know, complimenting them, you know. Mm -hmm. So I didn't find that offensive to me. But when they started that, what was going on, I'm very like, I'm, I don't want to say I'm argumentative. But I don't want my man to argue back with me because then I feel like it's going to always be a problem. That was the only reason why I popped my balloon because he I was just like, dang. You down. Um, yeah. But then with me, you kind of got a little bit catty with me. You a little sassy just a little bit. Told and you. Did you want to come at everybody over here? I'm going to get at you too. Ooh. You kind of look like a Ninja Turtle. You're not that Ooh. cute. You, you need to relax. Uh, you stocky as hell, oh, see, look, and look, look, I was trying to be respectful, okay. but yeah. like you was, you was really coming out. Like I didn't, I didn't like it. I'm from the south, and I can okay. handle like a lot of criticism and stuff like yeah. that. But the way you was coming, you see, look, I saw the clip on TikTok a while back, but I didn't realize she was the one that called him that Ninja Turtle. Oh, and she then, going the fuck in on when him when she said he looked like a Ninja Turtle. You saw how he looked her up and down. It's like he he trying, trying to find, find some way to read her. Now her eyes is a little split, a little part further apart, like kind of like Halle. But he but, he not gonna like being called a Ninja Turtle. Okay. But that's what he look like. He do look like he look dumb. <laughs> look at him. <laughs> look, he feeling some type of way too. Yeah. Look at his face. 
He probably like, see, this one with date bitches with all like these you. Stre- I mean, with all this strength and all that, you don't need to be as sassy as the women. Like, you don't have to. You could one-arm her and take her out, you know? So you don't have to be sassy like that. Just calm down. Just calm down. Go plumb something. Go do some plumbing. He you just ain't like you got it all like that. And I guarantee you probably got a roommate at home, and it's just not giving anymore. Yeah. Well, let me say this, Queen. I'm a licensed plumber. So, I live, and I, I do real estate and property down, management. I live downtown. So what you I live Nothing downtown. I stay by myself, Queen. You know, and you're not even qualified to be even you dealing say with me. You everybody not qualified. To, you definitely not. You know, if anything, it was one of these two. I wasn't even looking your way. You and ain't the one my that type. you wanted, Pop If I seen, I, that's oh, fine. So that, what? That, that's totally fine. Okay. But one thing about me, I could pull a hundred thousand on the bank. Can you do the same? Get the yeah, you can't do that. Yeah, you can't do that, though, baby. Yeah, in let's a real way. You can't do that, though, All right. If we can have your name and age. Hi, I'm Esther. I'm 23. Okay. And hey, Esther, Esther. Uh, you still have your balloon unpopped. Why so? Are you done? Oh, yeah. I'm done with the rest of that. Okay. You know. Okay. Now we can talk, right? In a real way. Okay. What do you look for? I look What for, are you looking for? Uh, a woman, like I said, that's not going to be promiscuous. A woman that's going to be consistent. A woman that has a career and things going for herself, because I had the same thing going for myself, okay. you know, as well. I don't need a woman to uh, give me her money um, or anything. I'm just looking for devotion and some loyalty, that's all, and some honesty. Do you believe in God? Oh, certainly. Yes, ma'am. I'm a God-fearing man. I practice monotheism. You know, I won't tell you what I identify as religion-wise, but we can get to that at a later date and time, you know, yeah. if you choose yes. to... Uh, leave here with me okay do you know the bible says that love is kind yes certainly are you here for love or are you here to just insult I'm, I'm, See, that's what's wrong with bitches trying to fix a nigga he don't need to be fixed this nigga already broke she's trying to fix his ass i'm just he already stuck in his ways what is monotheism i wonder how did they date go theist theism did she make it to the date Monotheism is a belief system that centers on the idea of a single, all-powerful God. It also holds that the world is a separate reality where God can intervene, often through supernatural means. Monotheism differs from other belief systems such as polytheism, which is a belief in multiple gods, and atheism, which is, okay, most people can be monotheists. So is he not Christian? Is that what he's saying? Okay, he, okay. All right. Girl, I want to know how the date went at this point. I'm trying to create a family, you know, okay. that's what I aspire to do. Okay. Yes, ma'am. All right. You're there, there, you want it? Oh, okay, all right. Any questions for her? No, not at all. Oh. Do you have any kids? No, I don't. Do you want kids? I do. You going to give you me again? a son? Huh? Yeah, you how old are you? Not get I'm 29. By his how old are you? 23. Okay. Well, turn on that Is that kids. okay? Yeah, that's perfectly fine. Okay. You know, okay. we might as well get up out of here right now. All right, well, let me, let she me yeah. right here. now. Let's step on, step out real quick. Can we step <laughs> <Okay>. away? <laughs> All right, so seems like there's a little vibe here. So is it going to be a yes for you for him? God says save souls, so yeah. Oh, yeah. Yes for you for that's going to be a hell yes for okay, me. Okay, we yeah, got a match. Right. <laughs> All right, let me take this mic and y'all can go on off. <laughs> Okay. All right, everyone. Thank you for tuning in on this episode. Of yeah. So, you know what he makes me think about? You know how, like, if you observe cats, when cats feel threatened by something, they make themselves look as big as possible. <laughs> it's like he felt threatened by these women. So he just got himself looking as big as possible, trying to make himself look more intimidating than what his little self was. That's probably because he's went through this throughout life. Yeah, being a so. small man, I can see how. Like when he was skinny, now he done got him some little muscles, and now he done listen to Kevin Samuel and all these other podcast men. It's like he's he's got some shit in his arsenal that he's ready to shoot out. I wonder what he would have did if a girl would have popped her balloon at the very last <laughs> He would have went off on her. He already was ready. He already saw some stuff about her that he didn't like probably. Yeah. But, um, okay, so now I see the girlfriend. She has um, exposed him. So we're going to watch her little playlist, see what she got going on. 
Um, let's get right into it. Let's go ahead and talk about part one of Watch Who the Fuck You Date. So his name is Aaron. Aaron is my ex. We dated for a few months and it didn't last very long. And let me tell you why. He is like insane it's like he has that little person talking to him in the corner of his shoulder at all times like he's making uh -huh. up constant stories in his head about like that i'm cheating on him that he's got to watch his back that i have guys in my apartment at all times and that i'm cheating while i'm at work when i work in a clinic full of women by the way so let's take it back to to the beginning so again one. we met i lived in arizona he lived in new mexico and he said oh i have a friend that lives in arizona i was actually just there i was like oh dang well whenever you're down here again let's grab dinner or whatever he's like all right he ended up coming and his plan was to end up moving to arizona anyway with his friend right he ended oh. up at my house so much anyway that i was just kind of like mm, i mean you kind of already live here his clothes was there everything so i was like fuck it just you know that was my mistake so uh, my mom ends up making dinners for us all the time. We're Mexican. We make huge dinners. And the first time he went, he met the family and everything was cool. But when we left, my mom called me. She said, are you okay? And I said, what do you mean? Am I okay? She said, well, I see something in his eye. Like he wants to hurt you or like he wants to control you. I don't know how to tell you because I don't want you to think that I'm crazy. But I'm just telling you to be careful and really think about if this is the guy that you really want to be with and i was like well i mean i can see why um it's like mothers like who have been it's kind of like when you talk to your daughter and you give her advice on certain things it's because you've been through certain things and something has gifted you the uh, opportunity to see certain things from a mile away yeah. and you're just trying to stop her or save her from going through the same bullshit mm -hmm. so listen to your your mamas or your elders when they say stuff like that and plus with him being like the type of man he is he may feel intimidated like i need to figure out a way to control this hoe so she don't so i don't lose her yeah sometimes you know a lot of times sometimes when people meet your family they are putting on this facade anyway. But you can see through the bullshit. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, it kind of is already in motion. You know, it's already happening. So then my mom invites us over for dinner again. I think it was the next day and we play Loteria. And um, I guess he was just like, no, I don't want to go. Like he he started little by little, kind of not, not like not wanting to be around my family. And I don't know if he noticed that my family didn't, really like he did. approve of him or whatever i'm not too sure they could but see anyways that was a red flag number one it's kind of like he was already trying to distant me from my own family you know like the only protection that i have had is from my family and he was trying to move me away so when i first started talking to him i was talking to other people as and i had a lot of guy friends and i don't hang out with too many girls because sometimes it can get overwhelming and a lot of drama can start yeah. so and they would still text my phone and um of course i talked to somebody else before i met him too it kind of just ended up going in the direction with aaron and so they would text my phone and he would check my phone every few hours every time a vibration would go off every time i'd get a notification he's looking at me like he wants to like literally do something to me i don't know what was going on it's just that look in his eyes and you guys know because you have seen that look in the pop the balloon game like this video that went viral. So um, he starts checking my phone every few hours. He starts to track my location. I gave him my location on my phone because I was like, I have nothing to hide, right? And I'm always either at work with him at home or with my family. So go ahead and go to part two. Y'all want to talk about it? Let's fucking talk about it. This man that you see right now, his name is Aaron. And he was in this video and it went viral. It hit over 2 million views. And let me tell you, you can see it in real life how crazy he is, how rude and nasty he is. Remember all my stories about how he put sugar in my gas tank, how he put a tracker in my car, how he put his spare cell phone recording at all times to try to catch me at work cheating when I work with nothing but women. Yeah, he would do pop-ups at work and everything. He uses the same excuses over and over again. There's so if you want more story behind this, go ahead and drop it down in the comments. Let me know if you want the whole story time behind it because <clears throat> it can get very detailed, very graphic, and I was left very traumatized. I had to move apartments, get a new car. So again, if you want the details, go ahead and drop a comment below. I'm fully attracted to you, and I feel like that counts if we are going to be going through a dating show, you know? Yes, the feeling is definitely mutual. 
so uh, that's okay. Yeah. Thank you. You did me a favor. You know. Um, she all right. You know, mm -hmm. you're not really. So I never actually got to see any of the money. I remember one time he like withdrew some money and he had like $20 in there and he had to call his dad. So she responded to a comment that says, wait, is he a plumber? Does he got $100,000 in the bank, LOL? Does he have a roommate? Or something to like transfer money because all of his money was in a trust fund. But one time he was really, really mad at me and threw the text free app because I had his number blocked. He texted me a picture of his bank account, which this is the receipt. His name right there, Aaron. I don't know what pro extra member means i have no idea what all of this means supposedly this was his balance on one account and this was his balance on another now do i believe it not necessarily again i didn't let him pay for anything because i didn't want him to have the right to any of the things that i own but he would complain about spending twenty dollars here and twenty dollars there so do i actually believe that he has that amount of money in the bank i don't but he is a licensed plumber only because i helped him apply for some jobs here in arizona and i actually know where exactly he works and everything like i have his email his credentials everything so he is a licensed plumber i don't know if he's employed with the same company because i haven't kept up with him ever since i blocked him i try to close that can of worms but this is the answer Ooh, to your question child. So I never actually I got I mean, I'm not saying it's impossible. I'm trying to see how much do licensed plumbers make. I'm just saying some blue collar workers, they make, uh, let's see, they make some decent little buddies, some of them. Like they plumber. probably got abandonment issues. Plumber sal uh, salary, let's see. They make about, oh wow, the average plumber salary in Alabama is $55,000 per year. Check um Arizona. Oh, 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 was it Arizona or New Mexico? Is Arizona? Yeah, she said Arizona. Okay, Arizona. About fifty-eight thousand dollars a year. If he got experience, maybe sixty. If he's a what? If he's a uh, like an entrepreneur, like a like a business owner, maybe more. I don't know. Um. To look eighty thousand. So if it, if it was just him just saving up his money, I'm not saying it's impossible. I'm really not. But um, okay. Let's let's get to the next thing. She said, "How did it all start? What were the red flags?" So again, it started online. Everything was super good. Like it flowed so well. The person that you see online there is not the person that I met. Like he masked it so well. He must have learned all of these tricks when he was getting his record or something because he was very manipulative, very controlling. The red flags were him trying to distance from me from my family, me basically paying everything. Um, he was very controlling. He wanted to check my phone every few hours. He wanted to know where I was every second of the day instead of being at work. When he's supposed to be at work, he's over here popping up at my job. Um, he, again, put a recorder in my car. I dropped it on all the three other parts. Him always saying how much money he had and how much money that he could pull out of the bank like you've seen in the Pop, Pop the Balloon game video that went viral. He'll say, I could withdraw 100k from the bank right Come now lady. yeah i had some debts here and there but i always had money stashed because i was taught to never tell a man that you have money or like that you have a stash or whatever so he would always be like you're so broke like you can't um afford me like just shit like that when he'd get mad he'd say the most but then go and apologize and cry about it um but he actually does have a kid he just doesn't think it's his, but he does have a kid. He even has a trust fund in the name of that kid. Um, I do even have a receipt of him saying that he has over a hundred thousand K like dollars in the bank. She yeah. said, how did it all start? What were the red flags? So again, it's given Legion. <laughs> part three. And this is the last part that I'm going to post about Aaron, the buff guy from pop the balloon game and watch who the fuck you date. So, um, 
he was like, yeah, your car's acting funny. I was like, no. At that point, I was like, I already get out of my house. Like, I don't want you here. You ain't paid one bill. You put $20 a light one time. And maybe you spent like $30 on groceries because I was going to cook dinner one time. But my mama always told me, do not allow a man to come into your home and pay any bills because then he's going to feel like he has the right to either stay there or like, oh, I paid the rent. I live here too. But Can in our reality, say, everything that I... <clears throat> that I can we just say shout out to her mama? Yeah. That's why it's like, that's one of the main benefits of having a woman in your life who loves you and have been through things. And yeah. they can just help you avoid bullshit. But she is really teaching her a lot of good stuff. Like, don't show that you got money stashed. Have some money stashed. Mm -hmm. And don't let that nigga pay bills. Yeah. It's crazy because um, in the Pop the Balloon, I mentioned it earlier, he said he's not looking for a woman um like to pay anything for him like he got his own money but let me but say this she said she was paying for stuff let me ask you this so i really don't know how long ago this happened with him and his relationship but is it right to judge someone based off their past relationships when they may be a different person it's kind of like think about chris brown like if we were to judge him now based off of the stories we heard back then with what happened with him and rihanna yeah i mean <clears throat> In Chris Brown case, I would say no. Now, in my but, case, in your case, yeah. But the thing is, is sometimes people still have some of the same tendencies based off the way he's acting, right? So I don't think that you should turn a blind eye to it. You know, um, I so think, should I not turn a blind eye to your past? No, you shouldn't, because you already know I'm crazy. So. <laughs> Like I said, the person can still have the same tendencies. And we don't know how long ago this was that she dated him. But she did say they had been dating for a couple of months. And it sounded like they moved pretty fast. Because mm -hmm. she said some of his stuff was already at her house. And they everything. moved uh, like lesbians. Mm -hmm. I had gotten was mine and I didn't allow him any part of that. So um, I was like, all right, get out, whatever. He leaves. Um, he still tried to contact me. I was like, no, get out. I grabbed my car. I went to my mom's house because I didn't want him to try to come back and to try to convince me. And um, that's what brings to like my mind all the time. Like you guys tell people in abusive relationships all the time, like you need to leave, you need to leave. Thinking that it's easy for these women to leave. And it's not like, yeah, they've they've gotten hurt or whatever, but these women are completely head over heels in love with these men. So it's not easy to leave. So I did what I thought was best. So I went to my mom's house right after him and he's calling me like, dang, you're already at somebody else's house. You're already cheating on me. I was like, whatever. And on my way to my sure. mom's, I start to feel that my car is starting to shake. I'm like, dang, like, what is it? I took it to two different mechanics that were like, it was the spark plugs, the ignition coils. I fixed that. And then I went to another mechanic because it started to shake again. And supposedly it was the same thing. They fixed that again. So I went to a third mechanic and he's like, I think they might have put sugar in your gas tank. But what? I would need to take out like the gas tank to make sure. And I was like, no, I don't think he would be capable of doing something like that. Whatever. So I can find what was wrong with it. At this point, I had moved out already because I was so scared. My mom had let me borrow money because I needed to move out before my lease was up. So he didn't know where I lived. I moved apartments. So at this point, I went and got a new car. I went to the dealership and I got a new car. I changed my car. And when I asked him, hey, did you ever find out what was wrong with my Challenger? He said, yes, there was sugar in the gas tank. Dang, so this man, that I told you, like <laughs> growing up, I only, well, I mainly was growing around women, but I would hear women talk about putting sugar, put sugar in that nigga yeah, tank. Yeah, you hear women say that. That's what I'm saying. He's really sassy. Like, how was he uh, raised by, like, a woman or whatever? But this is another thing, too. Um, what if he is adopted? What if he got abandonment issues He probably got some bit, something going on with him. But this is another thing I want to say, too. Like, I know we donkey cone, uh, what's her name? Princella. Mm -hmm. I know we donkey conned her because she's weird, you know, but she still is very intelligent. She was making some good points. And she mentioned biologically, when you have sex with a man, with a male, his sperm or whatever, his fluid, his, his seminal fluid, they, it goes into your body and it, it does something to the woman's brain I where it makes it. them weak for the man. So how she said, yes, 
A lot of people th say leave the man, it's easy, but they be head over heels in love. Maybe it's just that his flu, because you've had sex with him, but you just shouldn't give your body to anybody. You know what I'm saying? Because you open yourself up to him. What if that is true biologically or scientifically? His, um, his fluids gets into your brain and it makes you weak for him biologically, where it's hard to say no to him. Yeah, because don't, didn't they say it stay in your body or something like that? For a that? long time. Like, you could still have ease, uh, seminal fluid in your brain. I mean, I don't think, you know, you'll be weak for him. He don't have no control over me. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but I'm just saying, like, what if that is the case? Then it makes even more sense, women, of why you just shouldn't yeah. give your body to these guys like that. Because once you give it to him, it makes it that much harder to say no when he, like, cheat on you. Think about Cardi B. Is that bitch really pregnant by Offset? I hope not. I saw something like a baby bump. But look how she's probably weak for this dude. She is. He cheats on her and then he might have another woman che uh, pregnant. Is that true? Well, that's the rumor. So I don't know. But that's what I'm saying. And it's like she's weak for him. So all he got to do is say a few little things, apologize, you know, do a little whatever. And you right back in the in the uh, palm of his hand. So, ladies, what if that is the case? Then that's even more reason why you shouldn't just open yourself up and just give your bodies away to these guys. I know, because I done did some stuff back in the day where I done did some dumb stuff. And I was just like, bitch, you was acting dumb. And then after I found that out, I was just like, ugh. <laughs> Maybe that's why. Do you think I was, was weak just for like, him? Bitch, uh, snap out the trans. What the fuck is happening? See, so as a matter of fact, comment below, ladies, if you've had moments where you maybe feel like you was caught in a trance or whatever for Ooh. these guys, it, it, that could be the reason. Comment below. It's okay. Get it off your chest. It'll help you get over it and heal. And we can laugh and just look at the dumb shit that you've done. The first step to closure is admit it. <laughs> It's a comment below. <laughs> that claims to be very godly and studies the Bible and, you know, practices this religion. What religion? Put sugar in my gas tank, tracked my car, put a phone to record me in my car. And I would do things like say everything he needed to hear. Like, yeah, I cheated on you. Like, because I was so scared of him being crazy like this guy has a record you guys don't know that you guys really need to be careful who you make famous on this app i don't want to say anything else because i feel like i already opened up a big can of worms if you guys have any questions i'll, I'll answer them but i don't want to make this any more parts Girl. part three in the it's out of all right order? welcome back to part two of you watch who you date we're talking about aaron playlist. the guy that went viral on oh my goodness guys i'm sorry it's out of order um i thought she had it in order bear with me damn ho i thought you had it in order uh, -uh don't do sorry. that sorry sorry it's like it's all over the place okay let's go to part two we're just gonna watch this together as a family. All right, welcome back to part two of Watch Who You Date. We're talking about Aaron, the guy that went viral on Pop the Balloon Game. So, anyways, he starts to distance me from my family. He starts to track me. I give him my location because I had nothing to hide. Every time I would walk by the window, my, my location would show that I was outside. So he'd call me like, "What are you doing outside? Who are you messing with at work? Why aren't you working?" Like that controlling, right? Then he starts doing pop-ups at my job, and it got so bad because he would show up in his work truck while he's supposed to be at work at my job that my supervisor had to keep watching me. We had to basically like, everybody had to walk me to my car after work to make sure that I made it. And the girls would text me, hey, did you make it? Again, it's a clinic full of girls. So that was a red flag number two. And then one time I walked outside to the cafeteria and he calls me and he's like, how did I know you were outside? So that in my head was like, mm, circles are already turning. I go to my car to see if he put a tracker because he is capable of doing some shit like that. And I couldn't find anything. And then he pops up at my job like, don't break up with me, don't do this, like I'll change. I thought I was gonna catch you doing something. And I was like, how did you know I was outside, right? He said, I put my extra phone tracking you in your car and I left it on record because I was expecting to record you doing something as in cheating on me or him, like messing around me. in your car. And I was like, I was done. 
after that, I was completely done. I and said, you know what this stuff. probably mean? Get out of my head. You know how when we was talking to Steve at DirecTV, he said that his daddy told him, don't put the dick all the way in some girls. She put the pussy all the way on him. She did her latest and greatest tricks on this Ninja Turtles dick. That's what she did. And he's like, you know what? I got to make sure nobody else get this. Well, I feel sorry for this one. She shouldn't have did her latest and greatest <laughs> tricks. She should have kept it simple, very basic. She done did the most. What, she ain't had none in a minute? But you know something? I'm shocked she coming out speaking because if I actually went through that with somebody, I probably wouldn't say shit. But you know, attention is a hell of a drug. She could be addicted to attention too. Want the attention. And how oh, you gonna uh, get it? And the air been found you again. Yep my house and come bring me my key and he was like no i'm gonna change whatever i went home he was still there he was like let's try to work it out i was like mm. you know he already lives with me he moved here like whatever and that and then it was going i was going to do it so bad and then i he went to go get coffee for me or something from starbucks and he was like something's wrong with your car and i was like what do you mean something's wrong with my car He's like, yeah, it started to act weird. And I was like, okay, hold on right there. Maybe my car, I have a 2019 Dodge Challenger. It's been perfectly <laughs> fine. I kept up with the oil. I don't understand. All of a sudden, you're driving it and something's wrong with it. Go to part three. All right, welcome back uh, to part girl, two. Girl, you're getting on my nerves. Okay, so we know he put sugar in the tank. Let's go to part four. Or... All right, so I'm um, just going to give you guys an update, and this is the last I'll probably be talking Hold about. Up. Girl, how many times you exactly, going to say this, this is the one of the last? Hold up, guys. Ooh. Let's go back to the playlist. Part four. After he put sugar four in the tank. of dating the Pop the Balloon game buff guy. I'm just going to answer some questions that you guys have been asking in my chat that I haven't had a chance to answer because I actually work a full-time job, and I'm a mom. That goes with question number one. Did you lose custody of your kids? No. Their dad and I share 50-50 custody. He likes to talk shit because I... Okay. Oh. Wait, is, is it in order? But it's just like she titled it out of order. Okay, so we watched part two. Let's just go to... Let's just, we're just going to go in order. Sorry, guys. All right, so I'm um, just going to give you guys an update, and this is the last I'll probably be talking about it. This should um, me out. So everybody keeps asking me, what was the purpose of you um, outing him or making these videos? And it's because I needed to bring awareness to a lot of women out there. He is constantly on different dating apps because this is what all the other girls are telling me, and they're going through the same situations. And, you know, a master manipulator is super easy to act super sweet and very consistent, and then boom, it's like the switch triggers. Um, there's this girl going around Facebook right now stating that he put his hands on her and that he's what? lying, telling everybody that she stole his wallet. She's already contacted the authorities and um, he like posted her and it was like, I'll give anybody $500 who has any information on her. You know, <laughs> he's like that. He, he did that. He popped up with me at work with my family. Like he's just going to do what he wants to do or what he has to do to get what he wants. Um, now, update with me. He did make a fake profile. He did make a fake profile. I think it's called your dot not dot qualified. And um, he was commenting under some of my videos early this morning. He is blocked. Um, I don't doubt that he's going to make other profiles. And basically, he was giving out false information. And I mean, all the proof is there. I really have nothing to prove. And so that is the update. I am being careful. I am around my family. I'm not alone right now. And, you know, that is the end of it. I'm not bringing it up anymore. I have moved on. I, I just wanted did. to bring awareness to everybody around the situation or similar situations. He did not put his hands on me, but I knew he was Where going to. Where are you just talking the... now, next? Exactly. This is one of the reasons why I started to tell my story. And after I told my side of the story, so many women have came forward. Now, this girl I found on Facebook, well, it was sent to me. And she's basically saying that they hung out and he's going around stating he got $500 on whoever finds her because that she stole his wallet or whatever. But he actually physically put hands on her. You can see it. This is her original post. I just cropped her name off of it. 
I don't want to expose her. I don't want to put her in any danger. So this is the Facebook post. Um, she says she works really hard for her money. It looks like she's a single mom as well. And that he's like airing her out to whoever. This is Damn. a picture of him. And that's her little story. Um, if she wants to come out and tell her story, that is completely up to her. It did take me a little while to come out with my side of the story. I didn't know if I wanted to do it. But again, the reason why I did it was because I wanted other women to be safe. I wanted other women to feel like they can come forward women. to any type of experience Ugh, um, of abuse that they women. have been through. And, you know, I can keep showing you guys proof if you guys want. But that's that side. Exactly. Yeah. This is one of the reasons why I started four of dating the pop the balloon game buff guy i'm just gonna answer some questions that you guys have been asking in my chat that i haven't had a chance to answer because i actually work a full-time job and i'm a mom that goes with question number one did you lose custody of your kids no their dad and i share 50 50 custody he likes to talk shit because i don't have full custody everybody is entitled to their own opinion but their dad is an active father and I'm an active mother, so we share 50-50 like we should. I just thought she got a really big bottom lip. I've been I think she got, that. uh, but was it Botox or what is it called when you shoot shit in your lips? No, I think, well, no, I think she just got a big bottom lip. Oh, okay. Number two. Ain't no growing he, his sign is a cancer. I know you guys have been asking. Oh, you know, they say cancers of the Zodiacs. They are the number one rated serial killers. Oh, really? Mm-hmm. Them cancers. Ooh, they the sure. top of the list for the serial killers. Gemini's and Pisces on there, too. Yeah, I know you on there. But I want Horma Fly. Well, I Horma Fly. I was just like... <laughs> Y'all yeah, saw the look. <laughs> <laughs> number three i had nothing to do with him losing his job just because he's yeah i did hear he lost his job i don't know if it was a rumor or not but the thing is i'm thinking is it similar to having let's say for example we have our cdl if something happened where we lost our job with that company because there's so many companies that would need a truck driver especially a team we could literally go anywhere that's why they say when you have your cdl you're in the NBA, never broke again. So I'm wondering, is it the same thing as um, like having your plumber's license or whatever? I don't know if it's a license, but does that mean he could just easily go somewhere else? I mean, you're just unstopping toilets and doing whatever you do with pipes and shit like that. Well, so can he just go somewhere else? I was wondering. Is it that big of a deal? Why did they fire him? Is it because of his background? Because she said he got a record. So what if it was that the reason they fired yeah, him? Yeah, but what everybody needs shit and piss un unplugged. So is it really that hard to find another job? I mean, he can start his own business. Right. Really low and to a petty level and posted my kids on his TikTok and posted what? my phone number on his TikTok after I messaged Damn. him saying, do not involve my kids and take it down. He went and posted the video. Well, he's spicy. My side of the story went viral, but I'm not the only one. I just had the platform to tell my story, but there is at least six other girls with the same exact story. So I had nothing to do with it. Number four, just because you're going to scoop low, I'm not going to scoop lower. Four of dating the pop the balloon game okay, buff guy. I'm just going to oh, answer some sorry. questions that you guys have been asking lip. in my chat. That little big as hell, boy. Good morning, my babies. I just wanted to give you guys an update of everything that's been going on. So I finally got my voice back. I can finally talk a little bit better. It's not 100%, but I was super sick all weekend. I wanted to remind you guys to be kind today. I wanted to remind you guys to read between the lines today. I want to remind you that not everything has to be extravagant. Not everything has to be expensive. And I don't have to go on all of these platforms to have my story heard. I don't have to flip the story to make myself look good and send it to World Star and say that to- I hate when women come out like to tell their story. It always get flipped in some type of way to make them seem like, like what is it called? Victim shaming or like shit like that. This is what it seemed like it's happened. Yeah. I hate that that happens. The shade room, be kind. Tell the truth. Everything comes to light and the truth always wins. That's All true. the proof is in between the lines. 
and for the people for the people saying that i'm clout chasing off of 15 minutes of fame remember i had a platform with over 65,000 followers and i've been posting for two years consistently putting hard work in while still working a full-time job and still being a mom so no i'm not i'm trying I mean, to bring awareness hey, on no that's even more reason if you've been working 10 two years or whatever and you want a little boost in your uh, clout, that could be a reason to chase clout. But I'm going to tell you this. The ex that I dealt with, where I ended up in jail dealing with her ass, right. if something went viral by her ass, you better believe I'm going to be on the front row telling my fucking story about her weird ass. Yes, you call it clout chasing all you want. I'm going to tell my story. Sure. I ain't been studying her. But if something happened where she blows up and go viral, yes, I'm going to tell the story about her. I'm going to bring it back up again. Nobody's hurt. Good morning, my baby. Regarding the pop the balloon guy, after I asked him to provide receipts to prove that he lost his job. He got mad at me. And I'm hurt regarding this. <laughs> like, like, you know, to trust somebody yeah. based off of them telling you that, hey, this happened to me post the pop the balloon experiment, discussion, whatever you want to call it, game show. Um, and then to go back and be asking him questions specifically about show me more information regarding your place of business, where you work, and then him to act that way. I'm just like, man, it's just pointing in a direction that it may not be true. Did my research. When I went to Aaron's Facebook, I noticed mm -hmm. that everything on his Facebook was about him, his body, working out, doing pull-ups, sit-ups, doing push-ups, everything related to fitness. I was looking even for the picture he used on GoFundMe of him in his uniform. There was no videos, no posts of any of this humanitarian work that he's, he's being praised for. See, not one receipt. So. We know that a lot of his exes came out and they gave us a little bit of tea and that helped me to do more research on him. When I did a check on Mr. Sloan, I didn't see a license on file that's connected to his information. And being in education over 11 years, we know all about education is linked to your social. If you got a license, if you got a degree, it's gonna pull up in any background check. Don't see one for Mr. Sloan. What I did find was over 30 cases across many states. We're talking about Nevada, California, you know, Texas, Oklahoma, he's internationally known, but not for any positive reasons. Mm -hmm. So it made me believe that he did not get fired. If anything, I would say that Mr. Sloan was into fitness and that was his job. He just didn't want to embarrass himself after telling those ladies he could pull a hundred grand out of the bank. And this, and this is currently wanted, right? Because when I talked to him, uh, right, the, the story that I had in my head and I've talked to him and I did a five hour stream. But what's embarrassing about being into fitness? I don't get that part. Um, I, if, like if, if I made a hundred thousand off of being like a personal trainer or something, I'd be proud that's of it. If he's a personal trainer, he could just lift weights. Well, how the on fuck he make a hundred? Okay, he probably don't have. It. Okay, okay. Well, why choose plumber? If I'm gonna lie about a job, I'm gonna say something else cooler, cooler than a plumber. Than plumbing shit. Yeah, but you know, it's kind of like these days people can find out. So people ain't really checking for no fucking plumber like that. Why do you say he a truck driver? That ain't too bad. Mm, it ain't too bad, but he ain't giving truck driver. And even though I never told anybody to go up to the GoFundMe, in fact, during that stream, I said, you need to provide the evidence. You need to show us the paperwork. Right. You need to sh you need to show us because without that, this is just so a story. It could just be a fabrication. Oh, yeah, no, no, I get to it. Just that and the third. Right. So even with that being said, right, and even looking up some of the court cases and warrants that he might still have active. And there's some other things that he did not disclose or talked about. Like one of the things I talked about was, you know, he was talking about you know, if I was stalking women, if I was this abusive person, then where's where's the police reports? Where is it this? But there's actually some police reports that have to do against harm against women, right? Saying Ooh. you need to provide evidence, but then it's coming out right now that when I ask him directly, hey, can you send me what is the name of the place that you worked? Now he needs to go get a lawyer, okay? What's your license number? 
Now he needs to go he's get a, a number, right? And it's That's odd right. how that is happening now. He's okay mm -hmm. to go live and to talk about these things in order to clear his name, when I ask yeah. these questions to prove and provide data or receipts because he fooled the whole country. He, f he fooled the whole country. Like he fooled people who went and paid within the GoFundMe, but everybody who's reviewing the story is saying it's messed up that he got fired. It's messed up. But the assumption was that he wouldn't be lying to that extent that perhaps it's not true. Why are people so So NTR, gullible? I agree with everything you said. And one thing about the internet, if you truly got fired and they called this company 500 times, that would mean they knew the company's information. Yeah. May I ask you a question? Have you seen the name of this company floating around, sir? Nope. Sorry, you can't see me. I'm Has shaking my head. No. <laughs> no. Did he no, he hasn't told me. The, the company. I, so he hasn't told me the name of a company. I've seen a name floating around, um, but it's the same name that you called and you said that they don't, they don't know who he is. Correct. And not only that, when I went to the reviews, typically when a plumber comes to your place and they give you, you know, kudos, they say your name. In California, Hector is the main plumber that's under that name of the company, but mm -hmm. it's actually an LOC that's under Aaron's information. And the LOC is, it goes all the way back to Yavapai, which is Arizona. And right. when I reached out to the owner of the LOC, he did not know an Aaron. So okay. all I'm saying, even if they're lying to us saying that they don't know, but it's true, he wouldn't have any any problem showing you. You're not right. going to It should be them. easy. This is, is going to help him continue his journey of healing. Yeah, right. if he just shows it, the GoFundMe's will go crazy. But people are not donating because, you know, I was telling people, wait for the paperwork to come out. Right? Yes, so if he was to provide that, and it would go more towards his efforts. What I want you to know is that I was never convinced of his story. Regarding... All right, you know, so... I was just thinking, how would people know where he worked just from the Pop the Balloon show? Well, you know what? These people can find some shit out. Yeah, they can Google. It just sounds like it's a bunch of BS. Maybe he was looking for an opportunity to kind of blow up on the internet. And unfortunately, it seemed like it's not the blow up he was hoping for. All right, I'm looking at, uh, what is it? At his IG. At his, um, oh, shit, let me make a small one. Girl, look at them arms right there. <laughs> <laughs> On that you not qualified store. <sighs> so this is his Instagram page, very handsome. He got over 11,000 followers. You're not qualified official. Child, what is this? That's old girl who gave him his life. I'm just, so he got a store. He's selling shirts and sports bras. Who the fuck would be buying his, um, you're not qualified king? The biggest overcome. Ew, is this his little print? Child, who the fuck do he, he think he so is? Corny. He is so corny. Well, he don't look bad. No, I'm just saying he looks corny. I'm not talking about his body. He just look corny. Oh, shit. What happened right here? It says, from tragedy to triumph, I had to change the hood mentality to manifest a better reality. I'm not proud of the things I used to indulge in. I can't change my past, but I can redefine my future. I was shot six times for those of you with the jokes about my teeth and legs. Hey, you still don't look the best, boy. I got hit in the nose and had a bullet lodged in my ear for five years. I was in prison, hearing impaired with an infection in the midst of violence and chaos every day. I was weak from getting hit in the knee twice and three times in the thigh. I was very frail, but I knew I had to get strong fast or I wouldn't make it out of prison alive. He probably got digged down in prison. I knew first I had to get in tune with my spirituality and educate myself because I didn't know about anything worth uh, sustenance. I started saying prayers before my workouts and reading. It takes a powerful mind, blah, 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 blah. Okay, so he got shot. Okay. Well, honey, so this is him. Good God. So it was... Okay. 
Scary, he embracing this Ninja Turtle thing. I told you he lame. See, he addicted to attention. the kids. Your costume's fire. <laughs> oh, child. This is embarrassing. Child. So this is him, guys. This is the Ninja Turtle. Man. I would rather I wonder have what happened with him and that. I wonder yes. what happened with him and that girl. I guess I need to see if there's any update on him and the girl. Okay, so that was um, us diving into the Ninja Turtles life. Just seeing what he has going on. There's just a lot of the toxic things that's going on in the world. Uh, like they say, it's a lot of piss and shit in the dating pool. You just gotta, you know, <laughs> hope you don't run into a turd. And he done came on a little dating show and then got out it. Bless it. Well, all right. I guess we're going to go on into here. Um, y'all, let us know if y'all heard anything about that date he went on with that girl. We tried yeah. to find it, but we couldn't see anything. I'm just wondering, how did the date go? Yeah. All right. I guess we'll catch y'all next time. Peace. Peace. You don't really need a lot of more to finish Cause you know what it is, you know what it should be like You never need a day of proof, but don't be validation You live it in your truth, only when you feel it, that's why I'm tuning into your body